you know, it's one thing to visualize it, to see it on posters, but to actually be able to see it and to feel it, it's finally here. It's actually really refreshing. Uh, so for me, I am excited. I'm excited for uh, what we've done. I'm also excited for the next phase of what else is to come. Well, the lake is Wyzetta's most important asset by far. That's why we're here. In fact, the name Wyzetta means north, and we are on the north shore of Lake Minnetonka. So everything here is about the lake. Well, Three Rivers, our mission is to connect people to nature, and there's nothing more natural in this area than iconic Lake Minnetonka. The lakefront here is kind of the crown jewel of Wyzetta, and we're just so excited to see all this. And it gives us the opportunity to experience what we really have here. The, it's like having a fancy ring and not be able to see the, the best jewel that's on your ring. If you were designing a city, would you put a parking lot here? And our obvious answer as landscape architects was, well, no, it's, you know, it's right next to your greatest resource. So as we started looking at it, it was, what can we do to create a space that really allows the community to kind of take the space over? For, for generations to come to understand what Wyzetta was, what, what Wyzetta is, and what Wyzetta will be. You're looking at one of the, the best views Wyzetta has, um, and I thought one of the most compelling parts about the design was creating this community access to that, sort of a gathering space for a broader audience. Well, historically, since Wyzetta's inception, it has been the focal point of this community. And now, with this space being available, it allows people not only from Wyzetta, but surrounding communities to come in and enjoy its beauty. You know, the lake belongs to everybody, not just the homes that are around here. You know, when you look around, the activities revolve around the lake. We have a beautiful, unique space here. Well, I think they will love the trails, they'll love the bike path. I think as it gets activated and you see the opportunity for festivals and interactions, they're really going to enjoy that. I would say one of my favorite things that took me by surprise a little bit was the little splash pad across from Ben and Jerry's. And uh, I just see a lot of joy in those kids uh, playing on that splash pad. Well, I've lived here my whole life and this is such a special community. I kind of bleed blue and gold and to be able to see this and live right here and let everybody else appreciate it now, it's pretty special. And I think it's not a small town anymore, but we still have that small town charm here. And look at this small, small businesses here. And everyone is like feeding off the lake. And have more space for the businesses to conduct their business. Because it's a downtown, the quarters are tight. So expanding the sidewalks, allowing uh, more space for people to enjoy the vista of Lake Minnetonka, sit outside. Our business isn't dependent on how many, uh, how fast traffic can move through Wyzetta and get from the east to the west or the west to the east. It's people out on the sidewalks, window shopping, going to the restaurants, um, walking their dogs. It's building on the history that Wyzetta has and making it better for the future generation. And who knows how it's going to evolve, you know, another 30, 50 years from now. We do a lot of phase projects and, and we always joke in our office that the reason you do phase one is to make sure phase two happens. Provides a great window to the opportunities for the future. I mean, people can finally see now what, what this can be and have a sense of what we've been talking about for a long time. That's part of the deep um, appreciation that folks here have for Lake Minnetonka and have for their community. They, they've enjoyed it, they want to preserve it, they want to pass it on to their children. Lake's been here a lot longer than any of us have, okay? And one of our responsibilities as good citizens is to, is to uh, protect as well as preserve. And uh, I think that's been in process for many years and it looks like there's good foundation to continue that to the future. Preserving and protecting Wyzetta's lakeshore for future generations. Helping people discover and explore Wyzetta's history. Providing greater public access to Lake Minnetonka. Promoting public art and urban green space. Creating public space for shared experiences to bring us all together. Bringing more visitors downtown to support businesses and restaurants. Letting people relax, connect, 
and remember what is most important in their lives. Bringing the community closer together. Designing unique experiences for people of all ages. Showcasing Wyzetta's greatest asset, the Lake Minnetonka shoreline. Giving families a beautiful space to enjoy together. Making Wyzetta more friendly and attractive to pedestrians and bicyclists. Recognizing the importance of Wyzetta's lakefront as a treasured asset for the community. Keeping Wyzetta, keeping vibrant. With pride in what's been accomplished and excitement for what lies ahead, I officially open the Panaway on Wyzetta Bay. Welcome to Panaway on Wyzetta Bay.